But if you cross me, <laughs> if you do it, if you do something wrong to me, you're going to get it. You'll hear it from me. Well, folks, that, that's not the love of God. And that's not the, the, the love that God shared to us. Because God so loved the world that he gave. Right. Now, he loved the world. The world. I'm talking about the world. The world that hated him. The world. He, he loved us when we were yet sinners, the Bible said. He loved us when we were unlovable. We weren't unlovable for, for, for God, but we were unlovable as far as, you know, doing things right and say, boy, that, that's a good person right there. I mean, that's a fine person. Yeah, they're lovable. No, we was unlovable. We were corrupt. We were, we were some of us were terrible. But God loved us with the love of God. And then he let his son die on a cross. Gave his only begotten son that he could bring these unlovable people into right relationship with him. To love with the love of God, you're going to have to see, you're going to have to see over what's going on. You're going to have to live on a higher level up here to be able to see what's going on. If you get right down in the muck, you can't see what's going on for the stuff. Oh, boy, that hadn't done me wrong. They shouldn't have said that about me. They ought to know better. They're Christians. You know what? The truth is, that is the truth. They should know better. But if you live down here where the, where the mud is, that's all you can see. Well, they shouldn't have done that, and they shouldn't have done this, and I, you know, blah, blah, blah. But if you'll rise up here a little higher where the real love of God is, you'll be able to see over all those things. That's just like God did. All the hate of mankind toward God, all the hate, all the, 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 the stuff, that, that the condition that people were, were in, the fallen state of man, he looked above over all that and said, I love humanity. I love them. Are they lovable? No. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Did they do anything at all worth being loved? No. Not a thing in the world. Not a thing. Some may have done something, but it still it doesn't matter. So God, God looked above all this stuff, all this thing, all the, the state of humanity and said, I love them. This is my creation. And I love them. And he, and he gave Jesus. He so loved us that he gave. Now that kind of love, now the, the love of God is what's been shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. See, this is something that people may not understand. You experienced it when you got born again. You were able for the first time, for the first time to love with a real love that people didn't have to love you back. You were able to love them. And it wasn't dependent on how they treated you, what they did to you. It didn't have nothing to do with it. They could be good people, bad people. They could treat you good, treat you bad. Had no bearing. This was the love of God and is. Now that's what... God has put in our hearts. Some people pray, Lord, give me more love. He can't. And I, I, I say that with humility. He can't. He's already gave you in your heart the love of God. See, some people say, well, I, you know, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel that. Well, listen, sometimes it's not a feeling. Sometimes when you first get born again, it's more of a feeling than anything else. It's just something you never experienced in your life. And if you'll think back, you can remember that. If Jesus come into your heart, I guarantee you, you'll remember that. And if you're, if you're one that says, well, I don't remember nothing like that. Well, you know, I'll tell you what, you better check out your, your real salvation here because when God comes into a person, he makes you a brand new creature. And if you've not been made that brand new creature... Then, then I would seriously consider what I believe in here. Amen?
Amen? <clears throat> so, it's, it's not necessarily a feeling, but it's knowing that God, the love of God, was shed abroad in my heart. Now, now listen here. Let's, uh, I said going to 3 John. Let me, let me start reading here. Uh, verse 13, it says, Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. All right? The world hates you. Marvel not, he said. We know, verse 14, we know that we have passed from death unto life, from death unto life, because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. 